It's been there for 47 years, the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Um, so there's a huge operation as well as mm. the key and primary focus, which is the rescue operation. There's a huge operation now to work out logistically what happens uh, with all the traffic that was going to go across that bridge that yes. now can't do so. Around 4.47 in the morning in Baltimore, about three hours ago, a bridge there collapsed after a cargo ship crashed into it. Times Radio's Alex Dibble um, can bring us up to date, really, on, on what happened. Morning to you, Alex. Tell us a bit more about where this happened uh, and about the bridge. Well, this is the Francis Scott Key Bridge in, in Baltimore. And as you say, it was about 1.30 local time this morning when a cargo ship was approaching the bridge and struck one of the columns, the pillars, if you can imagine a bridge supporting the bridge going down into the water. Mm. And when it struck that column, that pillar, almost instantly the entire bridge then fell into the water, plummeted into the water. Now, there are sort of conflicting reports about the state of the ship. Um, it has been reported that the ship sank after the collision, uh, but we do know that multiple vehicles then fell into the water. And it's for that reason that the Baltimore City Fire Department say that there are as many as 20 people in the water, um, many of whom are workers. Uh, it's believed that there was construction work going on at the time. And many of these 20, we believe, are workers. But it's possible, too, that they are just people who were traveling across the bridge in their vehicles at the time. Uh, but the Baltimore City Fire Department says that those numbers are likely to change, of course, as, as almost minute by minute. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking at some live footage. I mean, you know, there's lots of people uh, here that, that, that we need to be concerned about. Um, and the live footage seems to show, if that is the cargo ship... That it, that it is still above the water. But, I mean, it, it took the full force of the of the bridge collapsing on top of it. Indeed. And um, it, it's unclear exactly how deep the water is at that point. So it could be that it's sort of partially submerged, being held up um, by, uh, by, by shallow ground under the surface of the water. This is a ship that's 300 metres long, um, called Dali. It was on its way to Sri Lanka, uh, passing through... Um, this strait of water when it hit uh, the bridge. So it's a very, very large ship, a container ship. Um, and this bridge as well is is an incredibly um, significant part of, of Baltimore and also the, the local highway system. It's 1.6 miles long. It's part of the 695 highway. It's been there for 47 years, the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Um, so there's a huge operation as well as mm. the key and primary focus, which is the rescue operation. There's a huge operation now to work out logistically what happens uh, with all the traffic that was going to go across that bridge yes. that now can't do so. Alex, thank you very much for that. Uh, we'll keep up to date on that situation in Baltimore. It's Times Radio's Alex Dibble. Yo, someone crashed into the Bay Bridge. There's cops everywhere. I'm at my job. And there's police all up and down the bridge, yo. It's crazy, dude. Yo, someone crashed into the Bay Bridge. There's cops everywhere. I'm at my job. And there's police all up and down the bridge, yo. It's crazy.
crazy, dude. Yo, someone crashed into the Bay Bridge. There's cops everywhere. I'm in my job. And there's police all up and down the bridge, yo. It's crazy, dude.